In the garden, many plants will get aphids. While there are many species of aphids, nearly all of them are an appetite of ladybugs. And on this uh, loquat, fruiting loquat, my plants have quite a few green aphids. We do not spray chemicals in the nursery to control aphids or other minor pests. We just release ladybugs and let some wildflowers grow around the edges to attract beneficial insects like lacewing, pirate bugs. When I harvest the ladybugs and bring them down, we take the um, leftover ladybugs that are mixed in with the leaf litter and scatter them around the nursery. And these ladybugs came down out of the sears from several months of hibernation yesterday and were scattered about the nursery the forest leaf litter and have already found themselves at home on this big gym loquat eating green aphids. Ladybugs have large pincher like teeth so to speak they squeeze the aphids and juice them and move on. If you see little white insect like uh, insect like uh, aphids or white flies in your plant and they don't move or won't move at all when you touch the plant it's just a uh, it's the leftovers of a juiced aphid so to speak. One thing ladybugs do a lot when they get down your garden is reproduce. The adult ladybugs will eat a lot of your aphids, but it's their babies, the ladybug larvae, that really do the serious feeding. The job of the adults is to find, lady, find aphids, get a good meal, mate, females lay eggs, and the adults move on. Some of the adults may stay by, but most of them will just move to the next plant looking for more aphids where they can mate, lay more eggs, and keep on going. The best time to put out ladybugs is when it's cool, whether it's rainy or foggy, anytime it's cloudy, in the early evening, do not put out your ladybugs in the heat of the day or as they will fly all about the area and ra rarely stay where you'd like to have them. There's this one just flown in browsing around. They'll find caterpillar eggs, spider mites, other numerous soft-bodied pests on your plants. And then move on. Here we have a little uh, French edition of our ladybug video. Apparently, a little scramble for the favorite female. Or now they've settled on it. We've got a dual uh, dual breeding program here, so to speak. Or maybe not. Ladybugs are. Uh, very busy at their love making and uh, that's a good thing for your garden it'll put a lot of eggs in there the eggs there aren't going to be in here for a few more days are laid in yellow clusters anywhere from 10 to maybe up to 40 eggs about the most I've seen Male ladybugs are always smaller than the females. And our ladybugs may be very bright red, dark orange, light orange, with spots or no spots. They all have one thing in common. I'm not sure if this video is going to, camera can get it, but they have a, all of our ladybugs have one thing in common, a nice 
little white line around their head. Our ladybugs in the nursery will feed on the aphids and soft-bodied pests found on the olives, roses, citrus, loquats, peach trees, plum trees, just about any fruit tree that could get aphids and a lot of the ornamental trees. Black aphids, if you find black aphids in between green aphids, those have been attacked by a different beneficial insect and basically they're being eaten from within by a parasite. There are black aphids, but when they're black just mixed in with the green or the blue aphids, that's an aphid that's uh, living a very short life at the moment.